Wherever you live, politics can drive you crazy. We're pretty good armchair critics, and to be sure, politics can be an ugly game, especially if you happen to disagree with the policies of whatever party, whatever leader, happens to be in power. And so what we do is that we become super critical. Perhaps you voice that criticism, perhaps you just grumble away in your heart. Now, it could be that your criticism is warranted, but is that really the response that God is looking for from you? 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. First of all, I ask that you pray for all people. Ask God to bless them and give them what they need and give thanks. You should pray for your rulers and for all who have authority. Pray for these leaders so that we can live quiet and peaceful lives, lives full of devotion to God and respect for Him. So how often do you pray for the leaders of your country? Your president or your prime minister or whatever it is that you happen to have in your country, how often do you pray for them? And if you have an opposition party, how often do you pray for them? I know what you're thinking. Perhaps you don't care for their politics. Perhaps you don't care for their policies. Perhaps you don't care for the way they carry themselves, the sound of their voice or the way they behave. Yeah, sure, I get that. But how often do you pray for them? Because one of the very practical things that God tells us to do in His Word is to pray for the leaders of our nation. Now, I'm not sure where we got this idea in our heads that we have to agree with them or even like them in order to pray for them. There's nothing in God's Word about that. There are no let-offs or loopholes. You and I, we may not be able to influence the national agenda all that much. Fine. But when we pray the way God tells us to pray, that prayer will have amazing results. So listen up. Whatever you may personally think about them, pray for your leaders so that you may lead a quiet and peaceable life. Ask God to bless them and to give them what they need. Give thanks for them. It's pretty simple, really. That's God's word. Fresh for you today.